Welcome back to the part 4 of setting up your RunCloud server. In this fourth part we're gonna take a look uh, for some advanced configurations, tweaks and uh, settings that you might want to change in your web application and server. So we're gonna be covering uh, 7G firewall, we're gonna cover uh, HTTP headers, and we're gonna take a look how we can change the default value for the cache timing. So let's get started. First, we are currently in our main server dashboard. And first thing, what we want to do is go to the light speed. And here uh, we can change the PHP CLI version. Uh, if it really depends what PHP are you going to use on your web application. In my case I'm using 8.1 so I select 8.1 and click the update uh, PHP CLI. Next thing is in the Lightspeed Server config right here. Uh, we can ignore most of this stuff but uh, what we want to change is uh, this one expires and expires by type. By default they gonna uh, by default we have uh, caching timing for image, text CSS, application JavaScript, uh, fonts and other fonts for uh, 12 hours. And uh, when you gonna do GT metrics or a page speed inside, you gonna get message that you should really change the cache timing to be longer. So uh, we gonna change it to the uh, six days or seven days, I think. Let me copy and copy this one and yeah, we, I think it's a seven days. So yeah, we're going to set the timing for cache to expire in a seven days. I will leave this uh, snippet in the PDF guide so we can download it and have it for a reference. And uh, for the tuning. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, Open Lightspeed has uh, built-in uh, uh, DDoS protection, and here you can uh, limit uh, the connections to your web server. Uh, how how many visitors you want to have at once, or how many requests you want to make on the server. If you're experiencing a high server load, uh, you can limit this from a 10,000 maximum connection to 1,000. That means if you're gonna hit 1,000 connections, all other connections uh, will be rate limited. So there will be like a waiting queue for this. But uh, in this case, I'm not gonna to change it. And pretty much all of the settings we can uh, ignore. So we can click update config and it's gonna update our config next thing uh, what we're gonna check is gonna be in the web application so we go back to our server We're gonna select the web applications. We wanna add additional light speed config. And here in the web settings, on the left side, we go to the light speed config. And also here, we want to change the expires because first we set it up on the server level. And here we can also set it up uh, on the web application basis. So we're gonna add the same timings that we added before. And we're gonna update our config. Okay, next thing, uh, while we are here in this config, uh, we can add our HTTP headers for some uh, basic security and uh, we're gonna add for example we're gonna go back 
and basically we want to add a uh, context is going to be location in the root directory you want to allow rows for this header and uh, for the header we're going to add x content type options no sniff and if you want to add more you can copy this and you can add your preferred uh, security headers i'm gonna add just a second one so you can see how easy it is and yeah you just paste it and you add your security headers and also i will leave this in the pdf guide so you have it and i forget the ending curly bracket it's gonna throw error i guess yeah Okay, and one, and we're gonna add the last one, and also we're gonna update the config. And every time you edit the server Lightspeed config and the web application config, you need to go back to your web server, you need to go to the services. And you need to restart the open lightspeed service so it can fetch the new new settings and the last thing I'm gonna cover is uh, the PHP settings because by default it gives you only uh, pretty low values for most WordPress sites so we're gonna back to our web application we're gonna go directly to the settings and here you want to change the PHP max execution time I'm always setting up to 999 and max input time 999 and uh, here you can limit the uh, uh, post size upload size and that's pretty straightforward so we're gonna update the PHP settings okay and the last thing we want to add our 7g firewall so for this we need to go to the file manager of the web application and we want to edit the HD access so we click that it opens a new window so we can edit it and for 7g firewall we just go to the Google you just type 7g firewall and it will be on the first page and if somebody interesting I'm using Google that is my self-hosted version of Google so yeah it's pretty without any advertising or tracking so we click the 7G firewall and we want to download it so we go to download 7G you click this you will get a uh, zip file to be downloaded you open the folder and you will see 7g firewall that text and you open it and you want to copy all the all the code there and now we want to go back to the HD access and make sure you put the 7g firewall always on the top so it can it can take the value so is always needs to be on the top and we go to click save and also when we edit the HD access we want to restart the open light speed service for this we go back to our server we're gonna go to the services and we're gonna restart our service okay and now we can uh, test the 7G firewall so we go to webnestify.uk slash question mark pull click and we should be throwing the forbidden error that means those strings with the full click in the URL will be automatically blocked and when we can also check the full click rule in the file manager so we're gonna open the HD access 
and when we press F control F we can search and we can search for full click as we can see the query string contains a full click is gonna be forbidden so they're gonna get a 403 error and in this case you can block most malicious bots you know computers probing for uh, vulnerabilities and other things is really good and I really like the Samaj firewall and the Samaj firewall is made by a perishable press and a perishable press is running by I forget the name I need to find it where is it But the, you can leave a comment down below who is uh, who is creator of the Synergy Firewall. So for this tutorial, I think we covered everything th that I wanted to show you. I hope you find this really useful. And uh, also, I will provide you PDF guide for your future reference. If you like this video or have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'm always happy to answer all of your questions and uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and uh, stay tuned for the next video. It's gonna, the next, vid next part is going to be on uh, Saturday next week or Sunday and uh, we're gonna cover, we can actually cover the blueprint and yeah, we will cover the blueprint side so stay tuned for it take care and bye bye